Battleship foundered. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Just got the Conqueror doing a video on it. But before we begin, if you like the video, like the content we're doing, like, subscribe, bell button, smash that like button. If you like the Conqueror or whatever you like to do, appreciate again all the support. We're on our way to 500 subscribers and we cannot thank you guys enough for not only talking about, uh, you know, stuff, talking about tactics, techniques, tips, what we could do better. Uh, anything that helps the community out of sailing ships, shooting ships and learning something at the same time. So again, Appreciate again for all the support. So what is this thing, this monstrosity? This is the Conqueror, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually been out for a while. Uh, I, since I've been playing, I've seen it. I, I don't remember when it was added, but I do know that it is a ship I haven't gotten for a while. I put it off for a long time, and then I um, you know, had extra XP, you know, free XP. I was lying around. I'm like, you know what? Why not get it? Uh, I had grinded up to maybe the tier 6 or 7 version of this, and I had XP that was uh, left over and available. And we just got it, and we wanted to try it out. Now, I see a lot of videos about it, and I would call this, if I had to choose words, a zombie ship. I mean, this thing literally has a superhero that brings this ship back to life. It almost is as if, the gimmick is, it, um, you know, when it's dying, essentially brings out another repair crew who comes out and rebuilds the ship into a new ship. It's it's some of the funniest thing, and right there you see me start a fire in the Schlieffen from how long? 20.6 kilometers away. Uh, that's the other gimmick. This thing starts fires like a madman. I mean, it is a zombie that spews fire. Uh, that's the best way I could describe this thing. And I'll probably describe that as the video title. Uh, but this thing I wanted to try out to see how much fun I could have with this. And you'll notice in the title of the video, it's 13 fires as well. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. So here's my review and takes on it. Uh, the, the guns are just pretty new. I mean, they're, they're not overly large. Uh, they're about whatever it is, 15, 16 inch gun, something that big, a caliber. But what it's really good at is penetration. I think it pens like about uh, well beyond 60 millimeters. So you're gonna basically pen everything that's out there. And the fire chance is ungodly. I don't know the fire, I don't know the fire chance, but look, I'm hitting stuff right there out in the distance and it's gonna start a fire. It just almost seems like nine times out of 10, you're gonna start a fire if you get one shell to hit. It's just something that is pretty crazy. But I call this thing the uh, fire burner of the world. This thing literally is a Smolensk in battleship form, uh, but with freaking super hills that bring it back to life as well. I mean, my gosh. I mean, I don't know how much fire I took. I played a few other games with this thing, and it, it's not a brawler in a sense. You could push in with it. Uh, I think you could, but the problem is it does die pretty quickly. You'll see later on that people start shooting HE at me. I almost some, seem to combust into flames as well and take double fires, which is probably the gimmick of it, uh, that if you want these heals, you got to get, you know, set up ablaze even faster. So I feel like we're just a floating barge of gasoline, uh, but I digress. Let's go back to it. So the ship, uh, how does it operate? Uh, it kind of handles just like any other battleship I, I wouldn't i don't look too much into maneuverability and stuff on battleships it's, it's gonna be the way it's gonna be you're gonna you're slow you're clunky and you're just designed to be a platform for guns uh, i bet the start stop function is just another same old bb i, I mean if you if you're a bb main it handles like a bb i don't know what else to say about it i know you guys I, there are other videos and other guys that do really technical data on it it's like that's too much for me to think about i'm just here to have a good time not to go into technical data you know but again, uh, this thing handles just like a normal BB, but the, the thing is the guns are just pretty incredible. Now, I think that Ohio has faster turn radiuses of the guns. Now, I'm not saying the turn radiuses are bad, they're just slow. Uh, I feel like when I'm turning the ship, they don't seem to keep up very well unless you build for maybe the, um, whatever the turret, uh, grind the gears or whatever it is. Uh, that makes the turrets go faster. I think that would help out a lot. I have Cunningham on this, so man, if you get two kills on this thing, dude, you get an extra heal. That is incredible. And also, you get a better gun reload. So, if you get, I think, uh, what is it, Witherer on this thing, you get the faster gun reload, which is already fast as it is. I mean, look, 23 second reload on 12 guns of HE Madness. That is incredible. Uh, and look at that, start another fire. <laughs> so I'm like, every time you basically launch shells out there, you're kind of almost guaranteed some kind of result of fire there. And you can see my score is building up. I'm taking, I'm building damage just by fire. I mean, it's just almost like a bank account. Just put money in and boom, out spits interest of fire. You know, whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, bank account, bad example. Bank accounts don't produce as much interest anymore. What can I use as a uh, example? There's another fire. I was like, I'm putting in money and I'm getting some kind of return. 
Okay, I'm a mortgage bank. That's fair. Uh, I, I lend money out there, and I get back return, and I'm just keep starting mortgages all over the place. Mortgage fires everywhere for uh, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the other style of this is how to learn how to use the heal. Now, you notice of the ship there, the shadow portion of my ship is how much you could heal back. So uh, you got to use those wisely. I probably could take another quarter damage right there and go down to half health, but I didn't want to risk it because I'm not really sure how far low I can go. It kind of heals a lot of the a HE and maybe some of the AP damage really well, as well as torpedoes. I think AP you don't re-heal uh, re as much, but with the super heals it seems like you can bring back a lot. So you saw it, I brought back the ship to life again, to the green, so that is incredible. I, I, I just think that's, that's the funniest thing, because when you're fighting against a Conqueror, if it kites in and out and starts healing has time to heal, man, this thing is ridiculous and annoying to play against. It's literally like shooting a zombie. It keeps coming back to life, and it's also trying to kill you at the same time and with a lot of guns. So. And you notice I'm taking a lot of HE and a lot of damage here. A lot of AP shells too. It doesn't absorb the best. Uh, and we're taking, let's see if we can get a free shot on the Schlieffen. This thing burns down Schlieffen's easily. And it looks like Schlieffen dies first. But anyways, we're 3-3 three and three down. We are 13 minutes left in the game. And we already got 68,000 damage due to 6 fires. Good gosh. And you notice, you keep in mind, look, I'm getting shot at with HE, and then you'll notice uh, the more HE people shoot at me, I'm just getting started to blaze easily. It doesn't seem, even with fire prevention, uh, it doesn't matter with fire pre prevention in my mind. The more HE you shoot at something, eventually it's going to start on fire. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, I almost got fire there. Yeah, but look at that. Look at I'm down to, uh, what, 34,000 HP now, but I could heal back to the original HP like I was earlier. Oh, my gosh, that's ridiculous. I would get pissed off firing at this thing. Look at the range. The range you're getting out to about 24 kilometers max of range, I think, of something around that area. That is a good distance, but look, we're reaching out and touching things at 17 kilometers, which is insane. Uh, okay, I'm getting a torpedo hit here. Ooh, ouch. But look, my potential heal is still high, so I could re recover it. No big deal. Take another one there, and we're hugging the map. I hate doing this. Sorry, I'm not trying to be, you know, that kind of player. I don't want to hug the map and be cheap, but I just had nowhere else to go. And I'm trying to hold off this side of the flank by myself because the rest of my team died. Again, here's my two cents about what the meta is going on right now. It seems like, look at where the Smolensk go high on Thunder are. I have no idea why they're back there. I, are they useful in the back? I'm not saying they're bad players or anything. I'm just saying they could have chosen a little bit better. Uh, and using, I mean, this is a game. I mean, go out there and do something with it. Otherwise, I mean, you die, start over. You play again. I don't know why people are so scared of you taking hits and dying. Um, you get you learn the most by doing that, but you don't learn anything by sitting in the back. That's my two cents on that. It seems like a lot of the meta, even Flamboo and Flambass are talking about how weird the meta is these days. I, either these are new players or players that just don't want to die, I guess. I, this is weird. Uh, I welcome, you know, dying in the game because it allows you to learn and allows you to maximize the potentials of the ship, especially a Conqueror. Getting shot at and losing health and HP lets you see, well, how far does my health re or super heal go back? Uh, and especially now that the days that most ships have heals, battleships that is, and cruisers, you, you, what's there to be afraid about? Just manage your heals and damage con wisely. So look, my damage con's on heal, cooldown, almost there. My heal's coming back. So I could take a little bit more damage right here. If I get set ablaze again, I'll damage con and wait. And then when I get hit hit again, I'll, I'll try to, uh, you know, heal back the health. Now, the, watch the speed here. The speed actually is pretty decent. It got up and got uh, it started going, but I think I took one more... Uh, flood right there and took another torpedo. Oh my gosh, we're gonna take another one, but you know what? Let's take it and damage con. All right there, see that's good management of damage con and heals right there, so you gotta know when to use it, when not to use it. At this point, I had to use everything I had because I was getting torped like a crazy madman by that Z-52 or whatever it was. Out. I think it's a Shemikaze out here as well. But you notice we're still firing. Look at this. Boom, fire, look. Kremlin's going like, this sucks. This this is terrible. I'm getting shot from like 17, 18 kilometers away by a Conqueror that's really healing back. And uh, we're also running away. You notice they're running away as well because they see no point in chasing me. They're going to get set ablaze as well as they cap the area, but they're running into the rest of our team. So that seat, not only do you think you're going to lose on the side, the, the thing is hold your ground. I mean, if you hold your ground long enough in World of Warships, the other team is going to make a mistake because they're not going, we don't need the sea cap as much. We've got it, but now we got to do something, either go B or run away. And this Conqueror is also shooting at us, burning us down. So again, if you hold your ground, you just become a wall that they can't penetrate through or flank the rest of our team and create crossfires, then it happens. Look at that, and another fire. Another fire on the Kremlin. He's getting pissed off at us. And we're going to push back in towards Charlie and see if we can cap it. 
Now you notice because we're pushing in, it brings back our friends, the Smolensk and the Thunderer, two more fire ships. That's probably another reason why everybody's running, because a lot of fire on the eastern flank here and not very fun to play with. Let's see if we can start another fire. What do you think? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get a fire? Oh, hitting the rear aft section of the ship gets us a nice fire and our scores ticking up and we're burning up oh, with it and look at main battery reload that's the beauty about cunningham you get the witherer and in a battleship for the cunningham and your reload rate just gets more ridiculous with ar kicking in cunningham reload kicking in guns are down now to probably cruiser levels here and that's not oh, another fire g Petro is not having a good day at all. Let's see how, what, what is the reload on this thing. Let me check out the reload after I fire here. 20 seconds. That's cruiser level reload, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty awesome right there. Petro goes down to a Thunderer, burned to death, whatever it is, got shot by Thunderer, uh, not having a fun day. Thunderer, other Thunderer gets torped. We are now in the advantage, in the lead, and now it's just a fun time to sail this thing around. So what are my thoughts of the Conqueror right now? What, are you, what do you think, first of all? Do you think it's a fun ship? Do you think it's viable? Do you think it's too overpowered? I think this ship is overpowered for what it is. I mean, people said the Thunderer was nothing back in the day until all of a sudden people started playing with it like a torch, a uh, flamethrower, and the Thunderer became OP all of a sudden, and they had to nerf it. I honestly think the Conqueror is overpowered this thing is redonkulous the, the fact that it's a tech tree line and that is available to anybody is one thing but the ability to have not only four heels but if you wanted to build to you could have maybe more i think or forgive me if i'm wrong i think it starts with four uh, i could be wrong yeah, and maybe it's maybe it's three. I, I could be wrong. Either way, I have four heels just off the bat, the get go. That heel back, literally three quarters of the ship, almost. So you saw oh, how many times I came back to life. I have another video where I almost died. That literally is 600 health, and I came back and brought the ship back to three quarters health. That is, I would say, insanely overpowered, especially in the hands of a player who knows how to manage the resources really well. And you're seeing right here what's going to happen. Do I get another fire? Oh, no. The fire chance. Look, I have started 13 fires. 159,000 damage. 13 fires. That is ungodly. I mean, I thought the Smolensk was overpowered. No. The Conqueror, who heals and rebuilds its ship. You could rebuild two more Conquerors if you wanted to. And you have 12 of these guns that spew out ridiculous amounts of HE that pen 100 millimeters, I think. I think it overpens. Uh, as long as it's above 62, 65 millimeters of deck armor... Uh, this thing burns everything. I mean, one little shell hits the rear of the ship, boom, it starts to fire. Uh, superstructure, fire. Nose, fire. I mean, this thing literally starts to fire everywhere. And it's got heals. And it's zombie heals. And it comes back. And it's got 82,000 HP, which is okay. It handles just like any other battleship. I mean, who cares about that? But that, that is, this thing is... I mean, again, I don't want to use the word overpower, but it's just, I just say it's super strong. I mean, this thing is... Uh, I mean, gosh... I was taking fire from four battleships, and here I am, you know. Uh, I think this is a wall to be reckoned with. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do about this ship, honestly. I don't know if there is anything you can do about it other than, I don't want to say nerf, okay? I hate using I am not a nerfer. I don't like that. I, I say that everything that has a power has to be countered. Everything, Any kind of special ability has a counter to it. There's a technique. We just got to figure it out. For the Conqueror, I just don't know what it is other than, hey, focus fire and get it out of the game like a Thunderer. Uh, but look at the concealment. I have a 12.3 concealment. Oh my gosh, that's like, that's almost cruiser level. I mean, the concealment on a uh, freaking, uh, you know, what is it? Petra is 12 point something. Uh, Moscow, Stalingrad, they're at 12 point something. I mean, 12? I mean, even though Ohio and the uh, you know, GK and stuff are at 14, if you build it on concealment, pretty redonkulous in my opinion. But this thing is like a cruiser with zombie super hills that literally burns the world to the ground. I think this is power, overpowered. Um, sorry. Uh, something that's just ridiculously powered. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Let me know what you think. I hope I stirred up a corn's nest here. I, I like to hear the discussion about it. Uh, I don't see many conquerors out there, though. I, I'm surprised. Uh, I see onesie twosies here once in a while. But, I mean, this thing is redonkulous. If you like to burn the world down, if you like to come back to life, make mistakes, this is the ship for you. I think this is... Uh, hilariously fun at long range kind of boring in a sense and the same time 
Uh, it doesn't have any really good secondaries either. It doesn't do much. Uh, so I wish it had, uh, you know, nice secondaries to make you brawl even more. It'd be cool to burn down everything while brawling. But this feels like a battle cruiser. It is a pretty incredible that can heal back insanely amounts of health. Anyways, hope you guys like the video. 13 fires. So this is my first go around with it. I'll uh, do some more with it, see what else I can do. My next video is with the Goliath a mini conqueror it's a cruiser format and that's a real cruiser right there but it's a mini conqueror that has the same super heals and same kind of he kind of firepower uh but again uh like subscribe bell button below smash that like button if you like what we're doing here and appreciate all the support until next time you guys be safe we'll have some more nice videos coming soon cheers